Welcome back. It's still Business Insights and Plus TV Africa. We'll be talking about uh, rice smuggling. But just before we do that, small and medium-sized enterprises are the lifeblood of Nigeria's economy, accounting for around 84% of employment and contributing significantly to the country's GDP. However, these businesses often struggle to access the funding they need to grow and scale, with many facing significant challenges when it comes to securing financing from traditional sources like banks and other financial institutions. Well, I spoke with managing partner of Pearls Consulting, Baboye Olua Femi, as he gives his perspective to all of that. Take a look. Uh, it's not a phenomenon that is affecting us only in Nigeria, but across Africa and the world at large. SMEs usually struggle uh, to raise finance, but, uh, but thankfully, with the, in, some, uh, in some economies, they are able to develop programs such as incubators, accelerators, that is helping SMEs to, to, to then bridge that gap. And this is because one of the things that you want to see before you invest into any business is to see that the owner of this business or the managers of this business have adequate or prerequisite knowledge of running a business. And when that is lacking, that is where it's going to be a problem for any investor to put their money in. And that is why the accelerators, incubators are very, very important because they not only invest money into you, they also invest knowledge which bridge the gap of, of uh, you being able to manage your business effectively. And when that is done, one of the things you also see that SMEs lack is because it's one of the things I call the lack of uh, the, the prerequisite document to show that the business is investment ready and that to show that the business is also investment worthy. And what do I mean by that? It's as simple as your business plan, as simple as your financial plan and model, it's as simple as your business model, your strategy, it's as simple as your growth plans, as simple as your marketing strategy. All of these documents put together, in some, some business plan, you have all of them together. And the work plan and how you want to implement this uh, business uh, plan. All of these things are lacking in most of these SMEs. And for an investor to put their money into it, they want to be able to see that you, will, you have an adequate or requisite knowledge of the industry you are playing in and the market that is available and how you are going to play in. And then you have firm, uh, firm graphs of your figures. You know what your bottom line is going to be like. You know what you need to do to achieve certain milestones that you have set for yourself within the lifespan of your business plan or the, pro or the business itself. So all of these things are very, very important because it also not only helps you to answer the questions around the bottom line, it creates the path for uh, the, the growth plan and the growth path for the business. So people could see the trajectory of the business, where it is heading, and then that will now, that will now uh, arouse the interest of investors who want to join you on that journey. But if they are not seeing where you are going from point A to point B, and they are not seeing anything to show that that is going to happen, you have to understand, have a firm grip of your business and to be able to see just some of the things. So basically, uh, all of these things are factors that uh, are things that the businesses, that investors look at and see whether they want to put money in the business or not. Because those things will also show to them the viability of the business, the idea, the market size. And do not forget every investor at a point you want to exit. And if they are looking at investing on in the business and there's no pathway to exiting the business in the next five, seven, ten years, most investors are not going to look that way. They want to see that this has the capacity to generate enough cash flow, uh, take care of your bills and all of those stuff, because they don't want to um, keep investing and investing and investing and then um, they, they make it not difficult for them at the end of the day to even get to what they have investment out of the business. So all of these factors and, and so many more are some of the reasons that why uh, reasons why SMEs don't get uh, uh, the needed finance that they require to actually support their business. Uh, but we believe that government can play a significant role in this area in the sense that they can encourage investors. All right, uh, that was um, Femi um, Boboyi talking about um, the challenge of SMEs and funding in Nigeria. Let's now move on to rice smuggling. I have joining me Lofty Timothy Tahula, General Manager, Gorosobri, Nigeria Limited, uh, as we look at uh, the issue of um, uh, smuggling in the country as regards some rice processing. Thank you for joining me, uh, Lofty. Good morning to you. 
All right, we'll try and um, get some um, lofty back. But days after an investigative report by Economic Confidential on how illicit rice importation is threatening federal government's agricultural sector intervention, a major stakeholder has raised its voice on the situation. Now, the Rice Processors Association of Nigeria, REPEN, lamented that though the country's rice industry may have enjoyed considerable support from the administration of President Mohamed Buhari, all is still not well with the agro subsector. Repan explained that the illegal importation of rice has persisted. Uh, I still have him. Lofty, uh, is he with us right now? All right, uh, but it is actually a serious um, concern for uh, the rice uh, processing sector in the country. Before now, the federal government had to impose um, a land uh, border closure so that the issue of um, smuggling can actually be nipped in the board. After much, and the borders were reopened, and the Nigerians uh, or the rice um, farmers uh, thought that uh, maybe it is time for Uhuru, but I guess it was not really Uhuru, Uhuru yet because uh, a whole lot was still happening, and Nigerians and, of course, some unscrupulous uh, business Men see have a way of um, smuggling this um, imported rice into the country, and it is indeed affecting you know small um, uh, rice and processors here in the country. We are hoping that Timothy would uh, bring more insights on this uh, when we come back from this quick break. Stay with us.